Hey cosplayers, welcome to another great cosplay quick tip clip. Uh, last time we talked about how you can completely hide your seams so that it, your uh, build, you know, in your patterning process, so that your build is virtually seamless. But we did mention sometimes it's unavoidable and you're going to have to have some seams that are visible and you want to be able to hide those. And so in today's video, we're going to show you a couple fillers that you can use and a, a quick look at how to use those to be able to hide those seams. If you're excited about this video, go ahead and comment in the comments below with the word filler. And uh, with that, I just want to welcome you guys. If you're here for the first time, make sure to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification and select all so you get notified whenever we come out with these videos every weekday and our build videos we come out with uh, monthly so that you don't miss a thing and you can stay on top of your game and cosplay like a boss. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. So I've got this uh, kind of generic uh, helmet structure just made out of uh, EVA foam floor mats, um, which is uh, definitely going to be a scenario where you'll probably have these seams that you uh, need to do some patching or uh, repairing on and uh, some filling. So uh, two different ways that you can do this uh, that uh, I've used uh, both of and that many other people use and recommend as well. And so let's go through those, uh, one of which is quick seal. This is a very common one that uh, you know, majority of people are, are, are using for filling up uh, these seams. Now you want to pay attention and make sure that this is, the, uh, is paintable, uh, that you get this quick seal, kitchen and bath adhesive caulk, and uh, that it's uh, paintable. That's one of the uh, big aspects of this is that you want to be able to actually paint over it. Because if you get the wrong type of caulk, just getting any kind of caulk, and it's not paintable, you're gonna have some big problems when you go to paint your prop. So pay attention, make sure you get that. Um, and then the other one is uh, our very own uh, FOMO uh, or other foam clays. I've only used FOMO to do this, so I can't speak for other foam clays. But um, yeah, this stuff works great as well. It's because it dries to like a foam-like consistency, it also maintains that, uh, uh, that flexibility that you're gonna get also from this once it dries. And so let's just dive in and we'll just show you real quick uh, how to apply each of these. So I've got, uh, you know, this seam right here. It's kind of got some gaps. I did apply a little bit of this uh, earlier right there. But look, we've got this little uh, kind of nick right there that we don't want to have be showing up, you know, on our helmet here. Um, and also, too, something I haven't done on this but that you'd want to do is make sure that you get those uh, seams to sit as even as possible. So right over here you can see I started kind of trying to sand that down. So now these set a lot more flush, but then I would want to come in here and actually smooth that out. With the uh, floor mat foams, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get that smooth sanding. But if you get the high density foams, uh, you know, from TNT Cosplay or different things, uh, they're going to sand a lot better. And then our What The Foam is going to sand super, super smooth and really clean edges. Um, so it just kind of depends on the material you're working with, uh, as to it helping you make things a little bit easier as well. Um, so let's jump in and go ahead and start with this, uh, quick seal. So pretty straightforward. If you have one of these, uh, you know, uh, sculpting tools kind of helps to use as a little bit of a spatula and you can, um, just put a little bit on, on the end, like a little putty knife kind of thing. And then right here for this gap, you can kind of, you know, press it in and then run across it to kind of clean up. And you can use the, the bladed edge to kind of go across the, and kind of push the uh, filler down inside of that, that gap right there, right? So you can see how now that's kind of filling in. We've got kind of a little bit of an edge here too. So we'll run it along there. And then, big thing that you want to do with this, so you kind of get the idea. You spread it in there, you fill up the gap. But one of the big things you want to do is put a little bit of water on your finger and make sure to get this nice and smooth um, and feathered on the edges of where you have your um, caulk because you're not going to be able to really sand this too much once it dries. Um, and so if you have any pieces kind of sticking up or in the way, uh, you don't want those to interfere or uh, not be able to sand those down and have kind of some raised uh, bumps. Because uh, once you sand too much on this, it'll start to really peel away and uh, become uh, destroy the whole 
the whole setup that you had. So that's the uh, quick seal. And then the other one here real quick, we've got uh, FOMO. I'll just show you real quick with that. It doesn't take much. And uh, I like to take the water and work it into the FOMO to get it kind of a little bit more um, gooey, a little bit more spreadable, if you will. A little bit more tacky. And let's see, let's find a good spot here. Okay, right over here, we've got kind of this uh, scratch that we didn't want that, you know, maybe was just like accidentally happened because we cut the wrong spot or nicked the, the foam or something like that, right? So, just working that water into it a little bit here. And I'm gonna put water on the foam along the surface that I'm wanting to um, fill. And then, come in and I can just kinda press the FOMO into that gap. Peel away some of the extra here. Just kind of press that into the gap. And then what you'll want to do is then just like with the other one, come in and try to get it nice and smooth, but also with the water and also kind of just feathering out those edges so that you have or eliminating any kind of uh, transition that you might have between the uh, foam clay and the foam surface there. So then once you have that, you can kind of let that set and uh, dry. Now you can sand this to a certain extent as well. You just want to be, um, you know, very careful and very gentle um, with the sanding process, not doing anything too abrasive or uh, that pulls too hard at that, that foam clay. And you can sand it down a little bit just to kind of create that extra little feather, um, especially with like really high grits, um, you know, up in like 220s and up kind of thing um, to be able to get that uh, to transition even better. But yeah, so there's uh, two quick uh, little looks at some things you can do to be able to fill gaps and seams. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you didn't like it, go ahead and throw a thumbs down. Um, it helps me to know what you guys like and what I can create for you. Um, if you know somebody that could benefit from this, share it with them. But please answer the question for us, what is your single greatest challenge when it comes to uh, working with EVA foam and uh, building your cosplays? That'll help us and hopefully we can answer that question for you in a future video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, have a good one and cosplay on my friends. See ya.